Module 3, Topic, The Liability That Use a Seller Server Can Be Accountable For. Information to be covered in this module. Number 1, Dram Shop Lawsuits. Number 2, The Potential Legal Consequences of Overservice. Number 3, What You Can Be Sued For. Number 4, Consequences for Serving an Intoxicated Individual. Number 5, Consequences for Serving a Minor. Number 6, who can sue you? Number seven, damages you might have to pay. Number eight, criminal liability. Number nine, strategies for protecting yourself and your employer from any kind of liability. Number 10, using a logbook. And number 11, an alcohol serving policy. It is important for you to understand that there's more to serving or selling alcohol than most realize. This module will help you in your serving, selling decisions. If you serve or sell alcohol to an intoxicated person, you could be held accountable in the court of law stemming from the Dram Shop Act. Dram Shop liability refers to the body of law governing the liability of bars, liquor stores, and other establishments that serve or sell alcoholic beverages. Dram Shop laws establish the liability of establishments from the sale of alcohol to visibly intoxicated persons or minors who as a result of being sold or served alcohol cause death or injury to third parties through alcohol-related car crashes and other accidents. These laws were enacted in order to protect the general public from the possible hazards of serving or selling alcohol to minors and intoxicated patrons. Let me break it down for you. There are three parties in a dram shop lawsuit. The first party is the drinking party, your customer. The second party is the serving or selling party, you and your establishment. The third party is the person or property outside of the alcohol transaction, the victim. For example, Mrs. Jones comes into your establishment and you serve her alcohol until she becomes intoxicated. She leaves and you do nothing to assist her in finding a safe way home. Mrs. Jones crashes her car into Mr. Smith's car and hurts him. Mr. Smith is now able to sue Mrs. Jones, you for serving Mrs. Jones, as well as the establishment that you work at, and he will probably win. Here's a quick trip to law school for you. A tort feeser, a tort is a civil wrong, as a crime is a criminal wrong. The most likely civil claim that will be brought against you is negligence. This tort requires four elements. One is a duty to another. This is created by common law. Common law is decided as the common to the area of where you reside that if you serve alcohol to someone to the point of visible or apparent intoxication, you should get this person to safety. Number two, was there a breach of this duty? Did the server of the alcohol do nothing to stop that person from driving or walking away? Number three, proximate cause. Was it reasonably foreseeable that the person who was intoxicated might have an accident while driving or walking? Number four, damages. This includes the intangibles such as pain and suffering, loss of consortium, loss of lifestyle, and emotional distress, as well as tangible losses such as medical bills, lost wages, and damage to property. What are the potential legal consequences of overserving? There are two civil consequences and criminal consequences. Civil consequences you lose your home, your life savings, and whatever else you've accumulated. Criminal consequences. You can get a felony charge, pay a fine, and go to jail. Plus, the felony charge will remain on your record. It boils down to this. If someone is showing signs of intoxication, you must remove any alcohol from them and stop any more alcohol service to the person and do your best to get them away home besides them driving or walking away. The law is on your side. You have the right to refuse alcohol service to anyone who appears intoxicated as well as anyone who is under the age of 21. You can also refuse service for Patrons are unreasonably rowdy or causing trouble. In most cases, refusal of service is warranted where a customer's presence in the restaurant detracts from the safety, welfare, and well-being of other patrons and the restaurant itself. If the intoxicated person causes damage of any kind, then your establishment could be held liable in a civil lawsuit.